Welcome back everyone. This is vlog number two. I'm Daniel Branham and I'm a DP out of Melbourne, Florida. All right, so here I go. I'm packing up. I had a shoot the following day and I packed a stills camera for this particular shoot because a client wanted photos as well and I threw that into the package. Uh, here is my Canon XF605. Love that camera. Uh, I have a few odds and ends I was bringing on this job. I threw everything into this Pelican 1620 case. It's a, a nice size case. I can get most of what I need in there for a smaller shoot. Uh, I had a few odds and ends. I had an on-camera light, an audio package, which I had two wireless mics and a shotgun mic, uh, extra batteries, a small little sandbag, a small little light stand in case I needed that. And in this little run bag here, which you know you can throw batteries in or a bottle of water or maybe some snacks. And then you know, usually when I go to a shoot, I like to try to bring some snacks. And here's my little snack collection. I've got the super coffee, which is wonderful for the afternoons when you start to get tired. I like the RX bars here. I've got a few of these epic bars that they're really good and the bulletproof bar. So at least I'm covered if there's not good food on site. But everything fits into this case and then I can just roll around the venue with no issues. goes. So far no delays though. Hopefully got about 23 miles to go. So I ended up getting to the job on time, actually early. I always try to buffer in a little extra time because you never know when things are going to get funny. But uh, this was at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. It was a convention and um, my job was for just to get coverage of the convention and then work with uh, one of the hosts of the convention. He was gonna go around, talk to different clients, talk to different vendors. This looks to be where they're cleaning up from another convention. So we're actually in the next hall over. It's a long way from the parking to where this particular convention was. This place is gigantic. There's three or four different huge halls. And uh, the one that I was in was on the opposite side of the building, which took me a good, I'd say, 10 minutes just to walk there. So I always like to leave a lot of extra time. You know, if you're sitting around for an extra half an hour, that's fine. You just do not want to be late. Good morning. I'm the photographer. Do you have your badge? Uh, Ahmed has it. He's inside already. Here we are inside the hall where the convention is going to take place. I'm just walking around getting a lay of the land, seeing where everything is located. I try to scope things out before I start shooting. And I'm also looking for the guys I'm going to be working with. So these are the guys I'm working with, Upluck. They're a marketing strategy company. So I was able to put my gear back there and keep it secure. And then the first thing I like to do, as soon as I get everything squared away, is to run outside and grab some exteriors because you don't know when you can get this later on when things get busy. Then I came back in and people were already queuing up to get into the convention, so I just started to shoot some of that action so that we'd have that before it dissipates. David over here. David, I want to give a big shout out to Ahmed Abusharbain from Upluck. He's a guy that hired me and he's a guy that I work with that day. So the setup I have here is I've got a lav mic on Ahmed and I've got a shotgun mic on the Canon XX605. And we're just out here getting attendees reactions, a couple guys here from Upluck. And after that, I ran back inside just to get some B-roll of some of the attendees some of the product. The idea is I just try to get a lot of B-roll, just a lot of coverage, because I'm not quite sure what the editors wanted. I didn't really get any notes 
from anyone. So my job is just to do as much coverage as possible and to, uh, to keep on the schedule. And here's some of the stuff I shot, you know, shoot a little bit slow-mo, shoot real time, give them all the options. So here's what I'm covering today. It's cell phone repair convention, gadget convention. They do electronic repairs. So my gig was just general coverage. Uh, I'm working with this guy, Ahmed, who he's kind of the host of the deal. And so just kind of following around floating while he's talking to clients. And just general coverage. Just for tomorrow. If you're working for tomorrow and for today, if you're working for the future, you're doing good. If you're working for today, you're going to have a tough future. And that's where I found this. So after all the B-roll and general coverage I did, I actually spent most of my time shooting speakers. Here we have Ahmed. He was the first speaker of the day. He spoke for over two hours. So these can be long and grueling days because you're in one spot for over two hours and you've got to follow them back and forth and try to keep yourself on point so that you can make sure you have all the coverage that you need. Also, there was a bunch of attendees here. I was trying not to block anyone's view, so I set up in the aisle pretty close to the stage because I really don't like to shoot from the back of the venue because you're zoomed in all the way and every little camera move is exaggerated when you're zoomed in. So the setup I had for the speakers on stage as far as audio was concerned was I left the lav mic on Ahmed because he stayed on stage most of the time. And then for the hand mic, they had a PA system. I was able to tap into them with my other transmitter. I had to go XLR to mini to go to the transmitter and actually that worked out fine. So I can do four channels with my Canon 605. One was the lav, two was the uh, PA system, and then three and four I put onto the onboard mics on the camera, and that picked up what the audience heard out of the PA system. So in addition to the speakers, I always try to pick up some reaction shots of the crowd. That's always good for the editor when they're trying to put this thing together. But that was my setup for the speakers, and I have to say I love the Canon XF605 for that kind of work. And I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on that camera and why I love it for event coverage. After all the speakers were finished, I went back out to the main floor and just shot some more B-roll. Picked up some fun stuff here. This guy seems to be having a good time on this ride that they brought. They also had this mechanical bull ride and nobody seemed to be able to stay on this thing for very long. They had a lot of people who tried, but I think the best was maybe seven seconds. I don't know if anybody ever got the eight. Now I know convention work may not be the most glamorous video work, but I've been in TV a long time and you know, to get my day rate covering conventions, hey, I'll do that anytime I can. And so here's the last part of the day is just transferring all the footage. I want the client to leave with their hard drive with all the footage so I don't have to deal with them later or mail out something as I move on to the next job because I wanna make sure the client leaves happy and he feels that he got his money's worth. You don't ever need a cameraman. If you need a filming, this is the man right here. Dan is the man. Don't go anywhere. Don't waste your time. Don't forget about Talk to him. this guy here. This guy. Thank you so much. Inspired, I really buddy. appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. No, you are good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.